Legends of Punk Volume 4, The Exploited. Pre-order now on LDP. Robbie and Matt, one would leave, the other one would take over. Six times, so we've never had any continuity. Well, what's happened really is we've written a lot of material and it's never really gotten to the point with one guitarist. There's, there's enough material, just need to get it actually recorded. I've been writing away, um, just, just, just bringing ideas to the table. You know, some is good, some is this, this, like different kind of style. That's the problem with like, a lot of songs written. Good, good songs, but no, but no good enough to exploit it. I think it's kind of hearing that, uh, that honesty with your stuff that sort of gives other people who can easily identify with it. I never copy it in anybody else's style. So when I, so when I want to write songs for the exploited, the songs are going to be fucking, they're going to be like fucking aggressive. They're going to be like fucking, be like, I want you feeling. A lot of energy and fucking power. If we do a new album, we make a lot of money. Everybody's waiting for it. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I believe. If I've done that, then everything I've worked for over the last 40 years, mm -hmm. everything I've worked for, that'd be gone. That's Star War. Fucking great album. I would have signed to any any label, oh, it would be a, a punk label, they had cheap records and stuff. So the guy called Marcus Featherby, he packs records. So we recorded at a place called St Strawberry Studios, which was owned by Crass. Right? Yeah, you heard me right, Crass. Cr